A block of mass 2 kg moving on a horizontal surface with a speed of 4 m per second enters a rough surface ranging from x equal to 0.5 m to x equal to 1.5 m. The retarding force in this range of rough surface is related to distance by f is equal to minus kx where k is equal to 12 newton per meter. The speed of the block as it just crosses the surface will be. Okay, so let's first visualize the question. So according to the question, we have a mass here which is moving with a velocity of 4 meter per second. So it's it's smooth body, it's moving to a smooth surface and then it encounters a rough surface wherein the motion is retarded and the velocity should of course gradually decrease and it would come to some value over here, right? Okay, so the question is how do we approach uh, the solution? See, so what we need to understand here is what are we given? We have been given x1 which is equal to 0.5. We've been given x2, which is also equal to 1.5, which means we can find out delta x, which is nothing but x2 minus x1, which is, okay, whatever. So now we're also being given f, which is equal to minus kx. The moment you see delta x and f, what should come into your mind? Work done by this force, retarding force, will be equal to, say, call this f retarding, will be equal to f retarded dot delta x, right? Because work is f in dis uh, force in displacement. And the velocity here is u is equal to 4 meter per second. And the velocity over here is something that we need to find out. So call, let's call this v. So we also know that work done is otherwise equal to change in kinetic energy. Straightforward. So you can do this as half m into v square minus u square and you have an answer for that. But that's uh, that's one way of looking at the question. Now another way, uh, I mean this would help you, this kind of understanding will help you in solving the question for the uh, actual exam where you uh, are not being asked to solve a question from a specific chapter. Instead you'll be asked to find the correct answer. But here what we'll do is we'll try to cover this using Newton's laws of motion. Okay, for that what I'll do is f is equal to ma. Now what is f here? f is fr. And what is fr is equal to? fr is equal to minus kx. Which means we can take that ma is equal to minus kx and a is dv by dt. Now, see, uh, we have already discussed how does this come, but we just make it this one more time. So what is a is equal to? a is equal to dv by dt. Now instead of dv by dt, can I write this as dv into 1 by dt and then and then right here dv by dx into dx by dt right the whole just a is equal to so what is dx by dt dx by dt is v and this becomes v into dv upon dx and therefore we can write that this is m into v into right m into v into dv upon dx is equal to minus kx what next so we can write this further as m into v into dv is equal to minus kx into dx okay so now this is in the variable separable form this is in the variable separable form and thus can be and thus can be integrated so if we okay maybe just we'll write it one more time so we can write this as mv into dv is equal to minus k into x into dx and now this can be integrated and now when we integrate we need the lower limit and upper limit so lower limit for the x is very clear here 0 0.5 to uh, 0 0.5 and upper limit is 1.5 so we can write over here so this becomes 0 0.5 0 0.5 to 1.5 and for the velocity the lower velocity is u right lower velocity is u to v u is given to us as 4 meter per second and we have to find out v now this becomes m into integral of v is v square by 2 varying from 4 meter per second to v meter per second is equal to thus giving you the change in kinetic energy minus k into integral of x is x square upon 2 varying from uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 to 1.5 so this gives you further what's value of m the value of m is 2 kg so 2 into v square by 2 minus minus 4 square by 2 is equal to minus k into minus k into 
x square is 1.5 the whole square divided by 2 minus 0 0.5 the whole square divided by divided by 2 right <sighs> okay so what is the value of k the value of k is given to us as 12 okay so the value of k is given to us as 20 newton per meter okay so which means if you do the further calculation you what you get is 2 into 2 into v square by 2 minus okay i'm not going to cancel the 2 here let it be there so be 16 by 2 is equal to minus k into 1.5 square minus 0 0.5 square I'll cancel out uh two from the whole fraction here do so the whole equation here so what do we get what we get is two into instead of k we can write here 12 right instead of k we can write here right here 12 so this becomes 2 into v square minus 16 is equal to 12 into 1.5 square minus 1.5 square minus 0.5 square right so this is further this is v square minus 16 is equal to wait is there any other way of solving this are we doing it in the difficult way uh, well okay so this is, uh, 12 by 2 is 6 6 into 1.5 square minus a square minus b square is a plus b which is 1.5 into 0.5 which is 2 and a minus b 1.5 minus um, 1.5 minus 0.5 so this becomes into into 2 so v square is equal to 6 into 2 is 12 16 plus 12 is wait a plus b into a minus b 1.5 plus 0.5 is 2 1.5 minus 0.5 is 5 over 2 so 6 into 2 is 12 We did a small mistake here. There is there is a minus symbol here, right? Yeah, this is minus over here. Okay. So now what is v square minus 16 is equal to minus uh, minus 12, and therefore v square is equal to 16 minus 12, and v square is equal to 4, which gives us v is equal to 2 meter per second. Therefore, the correct answer here is that the speed of the block as it just crosses is v is equal to 2 meter per second.